cute this little lady is. Hey, it's your girl Andrea, and we're doing morning feeding. But <laughs> tapping season is also a go. Um, we're over halfway down with heifers, and we had some of our first group of cows start last night. So there's two calves um, of those South Dakota cows that we brought. We bought back in like early December. I have a video. If you find that video, you can see all the fun shenanigans. But this video is going to be a nice little recap of. The first little bit of cabin season, how it's been going, um, things are, knock on wood, going better than my last video. Or hopefully keep it that way. Um, like I said, at least peppers, all that good stuff, we're over halfway done. So, I'm on a mission right now, <coughs> hence why I'm getting out of breath here, which is fun. Um, walk across the yard all the way to the back barn. I gotta make sure the calves are not the new calves. New horns, a bit babies are not in the way up by the bunk that they'll get stepped on when mamas come to eat. Generally, the moms are pretty good about like being careful, but all it takes is one dummy <laughs> to decide that she forgets there's a kid right there and then the poor little things get squished. So we've been hauling manure. <laughs> we got five out of six pens in the barn clean. So we're making good progress. And all that good stuff. But look at all these little babies. They have for pens. So there's a bunch of kids in there. <whistles> babies. So there's no babies in here. We actually gotta bring these guys in today because we're in for another snowstorm. What a surprise. Um, and these girls can start all the way down. And the first cows that calved are way in the end pen. So these are gonna get wild because now we have. These cows do, those cows do, basically 200 cows. Super fun. Dad's coming to feed. We're gonna check bunks. See if these two are two different moms or twins. We'll see. We confirmed we have two calves, two moms, so not twins, but these ones are definitely the right size. So I count that as a win, but they're bred Angus, so that happened, but. Play a switcheroo, we can tag them, have a good time. Okay, we have like two moms. Good, you're fine. Good job, little guy. Good job, little lady. You can let your moms back in. Time set up for one more load of feed. Um, so all of the cows are now due officially as of a good day from now. So 
We were supposed to have like groups that way since there's not enough room in the barn we were going to move pairs out to our outside pen and have it like we used to always do where the calves have access to the shed and the cows stay outside. Um, which is like pen five, one of our, where the heifers were, um, feed that heifers. So that didn't happen. <sighs> our heifers have been like real slow, which is, it's fine. Cause heifers, there's only 20 some of them. So it's not like we had, you know, 50 heifers to calve or 80 heifers to calve. And then the South Dakota cows are supposed to be end of February through end of April. They just started today. So, I mean, a week later than I kind of thought, I just thought maybe, We'd have like 20 or so of them calf by now. That way we could get them paired up, move them outside, and then have all of our cows in the front or in the actual barn, especially the ones um, that <clears throat> are due runaway. Because we have some that are, you know, we probably checked like they're a month behind so they can go outside. So now, uh, la -la, we're going to have anybody that's not bagging up, anybody that's not close today when we pull them in is going to go in the outside pen. Anybody that has a calf on them right now or is do heifers um those south dakota cows are staying in the new barn we're keeping them in there so we're pulling all the cows out of the field because things are starting to get muddy and we're in for another foot of snow over the next couple days ask me how excited i am super thrilled so that's happening but i think we got like a dozen calves now maybe 13 14 15 somewhere in there um, so it is definitely starting and whether it stays slow or we end up with 15, 20 cows one of these mornings, it's not going to be a surprise. So we'll have a little like recap over the last couple days. I'll just put some clips together, give you some context, all that fun stuff. Um, we've pulled a lot of calves out of these heifers because they've been big, but that's a whole nother topic. So, all right, me and my favorite shoot ever. Um, we have 17 calves on the ground. Most of them are in these front pens. Cute little baldy right there. Um, we're a little bit heavier on the heifers this year now, but we have had some bulls this morning. We tagged two bull calves and a heifer. Um, halfway done with heifers, over halfway done. Only one of the heifers has been a little bit spicy. That's her right there. You'll see her in some of these clips. She might come over here and give you a show too. <laughs> uh, otherwise the heifers have been really good. Um, but, She's mine too, that makes it even better because she's Moonlight's granddaughter. So I'm like, is it the limousine genetics or what? <laughs> she's always been super watchy, so it's not a surprise. Um, she has not calved yet. But heifer wise, we have pulled probably half of the heifers. Um, their calves were getting bigger calves than we would have liked in these heifers this year. We have a new bull, but EPD wise, he should be having, hi little baby. <laughs> really little calves. These two are the right size. These two um, were delivered on their own. But then we've had some big bull calves. Um, but nothing as bad as that very first calf we had born a little bit early. That was that one that we had to have the better at 1 a.m. That was rough. Um, otherwise, like this one, we pulled that calf yesterday. Um, but half and half. So they do say, and it is a real thing, that when it's really cold in trimester three and they get extra feed to maintain their weight and survive, that they're going to have bigger calves. And we're not alone in that. A lot of people are having bigger calves. I actually asked a lot of my people and they're all in the same boat. So um, our cows should be fine because we average like 95 pound calves. So here's hoping that we're good to go on that. Um, and then the calves out of the South Dakota bought in cows, they were 85 and 95 this morning. So bigger calves, but not, not big hipped, big feet. They were nice and good size and they had them on their own. So knock on wood. I don't have any wood right here. That way things go better. Um, the heifers have all been really, really, really good moms. We did draft, um, the very, one of the very first calves, um, that his mom doesn't have milk for him. She had twins, long story short, Sully, 2319 from the movie um, Monsters, Inc., is now drafted onto 411 that lost her calf. Um, you'll see that in this video as well. But that's kind of the method of the menace of what's been going on. Um, things are going to get crazy, so you're, you're probably going to see a lot more uh, videos coming or <laughs> lack of videos. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But there's all our friends. Love the barn. We're going to move cows in today. We're going to sort, do some switcheroos, but... Calving season chaos is here, and I am I'm loving it. Like the McDonald's thing. Is that McDonald's? I think.
back in. I'm trying to see if there's any more. Come on, Come on sweetheart, you can do it. Another big squeeze. Good go, girl. Come on, girl. One more. One more. We got the head, babe. Damn, I have the deep breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Mama update and baby. Do you like the new baby? You've been over like a week old, over a week old. It's going well. It's actually going well. So, win for there. But Real mom's not happy. She doesn't have any milk and you can't really feed a kid if you're not really producing, so. So in this part of the video, you can see me putting chains on the feet of the calf. You can't see super well, but at this point, that's what I'm doing. You have to put the chains on in a specific way. That way there's two points of pressure on the feet so you don't do any damage. And then from there, you put the handles on and start putting that pressure on. And you pull more as she has contractions and pushes, but you keep that constant pressure. That way the calf continues to make its way through the birth canal. And from there, with a little bit of guidance and support, she delivered the calf. Hey, little baby. I was sleeping. Welcome to the world. taking a chill pill. Her calf's trying to come over here so she is not chill. She's a really good mom. Good job, Tootsies. Just very protective of her calf. When you're lazy and your calf's going to beat you. That's her story today. <laughs> Goodness gracious. There's the baby daddies. Um, we did buy two new bulls because we need more bulls with the increase in cows. And our heifer bull is a jerk. <laughs> it keeps getting out and he actually broke the auger off of our bulk bin for mineral. Not pretty. So he <laughs> keeps calling out of that bunk since there's some built up crap and ice. Um, and he's just an arrogant little jerk face. He's out with the cows in the cornfield right now. Cause that's the only place he'll stay. So, <laughs> come on Ness, let's go. My vehicle is a mess, county season stuff, but headed home go work out probably edit this <laughs> post this get some computer work done while the cows are eating because theoretically nobody's in a calf at this point but yeah that's what's up until next time we'll see you then make sure you find me on other social platforms if you want to see more day-to-day -day life shenanigans instagram stories is kind of my my place i also love the tiktok and that adventure but until next time, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you then.